Tradisyonal na Van de Honor, pinangunahan ni Pangulong Duterte sa Malacanang. May pagulat si Eagle News reporter Vic Sumintang. Isa-isang tinanggap ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte ang mga miyembro ng Diplomatic Corps sa tradisyonal na Van de Honor sa Palasyo ng Malacanang. Kasama ng Pangulo sa reception ceremony, si Foreign Affairs Secretary Perpetto Yasay Jr. Ito ang uh, unang Van de Honor na pinangunahan ng Pangulo mula ng maupo sa pwesto noong June 30, 2016. Nagbigay ng mensahe ang Pangulo sa harapan ng Diplomatic Corps at narito ang pahayag ng Pangulo. Thank you for joining us today. We welcome 2017 with hope for the positive and meaningful change for the Philippines and for our peoples. When I assumed the presidency six months ago, I certainly pledged to lead my country and my people. I vowed to address three basic evils that subjected my people, especially the poorest and the disenfranchised, to the most unbearable burdens of slavery for a million of them to drugs, corruption, criminality, and a revolution in the South. I say to you all now that sacred vow remains unchanged. I stay true to the mandate reposed on me. The administration will remain firm in its resolve to hold the corrupt accountable for their deeds. We will make criminals responsible for their actions and we will work very, very hard to finally break the apparatus of the illegal drug trade. In so doing, we affirm and renew our commitment to bring about the change that my country and people deserve. Certainly, realizing the change we need comes with the challenges, but we are willing and able to do what we must, consistent with our constitutional mandate. Already, we have started the process of genuine reform to encourage more trade and investments, to intensify commercial activities to ramp up investment in much needed infrastructure, to increase revenues to make communities more resilient, and to improve basic social services. Alongside these efforts, we are talking to all stakeholders to bring about just and lasting peace in Mindanao, and to finally bring to an end one of the longest running revolutions in the world. These changes are vital to make the Philippines a stronger republic. It is on the basis of this strength, political, social, and economic, and the Philippines will be able to take on, on an even more active and more influential role in the community of nations. However, Know that the Philippines is doing its part in addressing the challenges we face together as an international community. The scourge of terrorism, natural and human-induced calamities, transnational crimes, hunger and poverty, and international disputes. Indeed, as we strive to be stronger at our core, we hope to do more, not just for our own people, but for our region and for the world. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the Philippines contends with the realities that are our own. We value partners as we seek to strengthen existing friendships, even as we pursue new ones. We believe that friends help each other and utilize constructive 
in engagement to achieve common goals. In truth, we all share the same aspiration of greater peace, progress, and prosperity in a world that recognizes our interconnectedness and respect each other's sovereign independence, the horizons and frontiers of cooperation are virtually limitless. Friendship, after all, knows no bound. The Philippines has and will continue to build on our friendship founded on a common objective, shared values, and time-honored principles of international law. Let us together work to further expand the areas of mutual beneficial collaboration. This new year, the Philippines takes on the ASEAN chairmanship with renewed fervor, a sense of purpose. It is a valuable opportunity to exercise leadership to advance the regional development agenda of forging a rules-based community that puts citizens' welfare at the heart of every initiative. The Philippines counts on your full support. Nag-offer din ng seremonyal to sa Pangulo at Archbishop Pinto sa Diplomatic Corps bilang simbolo ng pagkakaisa. Naging kapansin-pansin din ang hindi pagdalo ni Vice President Lenny Robredo sa Bandi Honor. Mula sa Palasyo ng Malacanang, Vic Samintak, Eagle News, ay Amuan 25.